I'm I'm putting my oil in to my beef fryer now. Hold on, let me, let me, let me. As y'all can see, I'm not a big dude. Like I'm I'm hold on, let me. I'm not a big dude, so I'm not gonna be making like some fucking chicken for the county fair. I got washed chicken in here. Make sure you wash your chicken before you do anything with it. Dirty humans. I know y'all. Y'all sick. And I'm going to be making chicken. Fried chicken. I thought I, I thought I was going to make like lemon pepper wings. But I don't feel like it. So, I don't feel like having that fucking smell permeate all the time. So, we're going to make it happen. First, I check ruling on sexy black YouTube. Make sure to include watermelon. No. If I want to die, I'll die. I ain't here 50 minutes late. I'm a healthy gear. I'm in a healthy. I'm in a healthy gear relationship state, y'all. Erm. The helpless Johnny. Let the world burn. Lemon pepper ring. Yes, they do rock. But guess what? I don't feel like making them. So fuck it. So fuck it. Now, I haven't seen this. I feel like I know everything that's gonna happen. I'm not sure if you're taller than I, but I'm far older than you, you know? If you're proud of that, great for you. But, let's watch some nonsense, if we will. Now, I don't know if any of y'all seen this. I haven't. I just know it's going to be a telltale story about a gay dude faking a hate crime. So, as I put my oil in, let's start watching. Defendants are masked with custody sheriff. my favorite part. I am not suicidal. I am not suicidal. And I am innocent. I could have said that I was guilty a long time ago. Should have just said you was guilty. Step over. Bro, am I the only one? Like, look at this. Like, hold up. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's not that big, but it took a whole fucking bottle of oil. Like, this thing is not that big. It is not that big. And it takes a full bottle of oil, bro. Like, what is wrong? America, y'all all working together. The footage you're watching was recorded as actor Smuggin' Us began serving a five-month sentence for being here. This footage, I ain't never seen it. Small step, this way. Perfect. See, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all, and I'm not gonna pause it so much. I tell y'all this, as a man, as a black man in America, it is one of the greatest historical feats, knowing that Brittany Griner lasted way longer in a Russian jail than this dude lasted in an American jail. Mr. Smollett, we're the ERT team, emergency response team. We handle all the high profile guys. We had R. Kelly when he was here. R. Kelly? So you're in safe hands with the whole situation. A highly professional group of guys there. Any of the people you see interviewed here have never spoke about this case publicly. I wonder why. Here's, uh, looks like actual large pants. And also an actual large shirt. I think I've ever seen this motherfucker like sit. But the strange story behind one of the most fucked up kids. Fox News, y'all know better than to swear. Jussie Smollett, an actor who films the hit TV show Empire here in Chicago, told police he's the victim of a hate crime that took place near his Streeterville apartment. Everybody immediately thought this is what Trump's America is like. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, I screwed up. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> already <laughs> we didn't got to the meat of it already and we only a minute and f we're not even fully two minutes into this yet hold on can i show y'all this oh, i want to show y'all this we are not even two minutes into this and we didn't already got the trump part 
<laughs> Dog. The other, I don't get it. And maybe it's just me. Weren't there hate crimes before Trump even ran for president? I'm pretty certain that hate crimes existed before Trump. I'm pretty sure hate crimes have existed after Trump. That dude did not really have that much power to insinuate hate crimes. He just made y'all look at a hate crime and label it something. If we being really honest right now, could you people stop talking about Trump for five minutes? We're not even two minutes into it. So the real question is, can y'all stop talking about Trump for damn near a minute and 57 seconds? Can you do that? Didn't Bush cause like way more hate crimes? I don't know. I was a kid during Bush. People in MAGA hats chasing after a black man in the night, tying a rope. Now I will say there's something going on in Mississippi in regards to a man being decapitated and they're sending his decapitated body to his family. Now, if everything I'm seeing about that is true, that's hate. That, that's, that's not murder, that's murder. And that's unrelated to this, and I hope whoever did that to that young man goes to jail. Around his neck, calling him racist slurs, calling him homophobic slurs. The idea that a m modestly prominent actor on a TV show gets... Now, y'all gonna hear me chant various things, and it's gonna be in regards to the things I'm putting into my chicken. Welcome to the plantation. Dumped in the middle of a... Second hour, welcome to the plantation. A very cold night by two people yelling that it's MAGA time and putting a noose around his neck. You couldn't write that better. Everybody knows he lied, right? Am I supposed to pretend that that's up in the air? When well, I look, heard if you know he lied, that a wait, 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 black wait, wait. gay if you, man, if you know he lied, fucking say, oh, he lied. Had been attacked in Chicago. Hot sauce. White Trump supporters sounds about white to me. Look, I've been a cop a long time, three decades. Most folks aren't going out at two in the morning to go to a subway sandwich shop on the cold. Wait, 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 Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Say that again. Say that again. I need that logic presented again and again and again. Who is this man? Is this Eddie Johnson, the guy who they tried to say, oh, well, he's a cop and also he's a bad cop, so we should believe the gay dude. Sounds about white to me. Look, I've been a cop a long time, three decades. Most folks aren't going out at two in the morning to go to a Subway sandwich shop on the coldest night of the year. Where I that, come from, that, like, see? And that's a cop. That's a cop who has experience. That's a cop who has experience in Chicago. I've said it for four years. It was one of the coldest nights. He said the coldest night. And this idiot was outside getting a $8 sandwich, $5 foot long. Come on now. I don't trust police, right? I'm like, I know it's true because I don't believe anything police have to say at all, ever. This went from a hate crime to not just like a hate crime investigation. I don't really believe you know, in police, um, but use I a word you, you probably have to bleep story. out. Call the shit storm. It's raining shit. The shit storm is about to happen. I've been truthful and consistent on every single level since day one. Liar! I never saw a case become so politicized before. Mustard! From the get-go. I've never seen so many people hitch their wagon to a story to advance their agenda. That case in Chicago is a disgrace to our nation. It was. <laughs> I hate Trump. <laughs> I hate Trump because his hand movements and the way he speak. He speak like, I know everything, and I'm gonna let you know I know everything. Like, like, why? Why, why, why are you pointing like that? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Like, <laughs> or everybody else saying, oh, a hate crime is Trump's fault. I'm just like, stop holding your hands like that. This thing became this combustible engine that just went pow. This is brand. Oh, that's, that's a weird ass potentially brand, my boy. Himself and involved two other men. I knew there was going to be a media frenzy. We need to catch the guys that perpetrated this crime. Oh, look, it's the guys. I think these are the MAGA guys. I a lot of dude on the left look that We way. were the ones that did it. Yeah. It was us. <laughs> I 
Episode one, the attack. Chicago, Williams. Yes. Uh, hello. Hey, yeah. I, what's I, going on? Wait, was that Jesse on? This happened in January. I For some reason, I thought it happened on like by, February first. Uh, I work with an artist. I, I don't really want to say his name, but some guys. I don't know. They jumped him or something like that. You know what's crazy? They show up 22 minutes after the phone call. Yeah, Okay. Do you want to take it off or anything? Yeah, I do. I just put it hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I got a fucking noose around my neck. Help. Help me. I got a... Di- Hold up. What I did in my, in my video. Help. 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 Uh, help. Uh, I got a noose around my... Uh, Cops. Uh. Stupid ass. Okay, so can we turn it off? Yeah, you're giving us permission to shut it off? He probably thought they was going to fucking jump it. Now, mix your hot sauce with your mustard into the chicken. A radio producer and I went out uh, in front of our building and we brought a ton of props. Here's our banana. Wait, Here is our bottle of water. <laughs> I did not know this part. It's frozen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I got a frozen shirt. So look, <sighs> if, if people doing all this randomly, how could you believe this dude early on? Look at that. I think when we shot that video, it was 22, 23 degrees below zero, and that was the surface temperature. That wasn't the wind chill. If you've never experienced a polar vortex, it's not something you want to be outside in for very long. It literally, it shakes you at your bones, no matter how much clothing you're wearing, your eyelashes freeze, you can feel your nose hairs, your teeth start to chatter. A second day with record-breaking temperatures plunging into the double digits below zero in the center of the nation locked in a deep freeze. Leaders are stressing the bitter cold still needs to be treated as lethal. If you don't need to be outside at this time, don't go outside. I was at City Hall along with countless other reporters from every news outlet, and the city was going to announce how it planned to deal with another night of record-setting temperatures. And as we're all sitting around, a reporter from WGN Garlic says, powder. Hey, guys, you see this Jesse Smollett story? The guy from Empire says he was attacked by two white supremacists wearing MAGA hats in Streeterville, carrying rope and bleach at 2.30 in the morning last night. And the scene would be the modern-day equivalent of that scene in Airplane when all the reporters rush to the phone booth. I mean, basically, all of us whip out our phones did. and we all start reading the story and we all kind of look at each other and we're like there's no way that happened but nobody was going to say anything so your pussy confirmed out of a reporter's mouth your journalistic integrity went out the window that day you see a story you hear it out and then you say to yourself and to your buddies yeah we don't believe this so more people knew something was wrong and they were just like you know we're too chicken shit to say it. Great job. This is a racial issue. We're not going to say anything. And y'all wonder why. Y'all wonder why people trust me, a non-experienced journalist, as compared to a, do- a guy in a two-piece suit. Old Bay seasoning. Whoa! Fair warning, you'll sneeze like a motherfucker. In 2019, we were a few years into the Trump presidency, and the idea among what you might call good-thinking people is that 
racism was on the march in America, that it was more overt than it had been before. Because of Trump's obvious casual bigotry and the fact that people feared that his bigotry was giving entree to his fans to express their own previously sublimated bigotry in new ways. So that I, was around. I can't, I can't agree with that because there were still people out there before Trump. Now, it probably spiked in hatred and bigotry, but I can't look at Trump and say, oh, he and he's the catalyst for all this because hateful people are still hateful people and they still gonna act. Racism was on the march. The country was being run by Archie Bunker. And you think about Chicago and Chicago certainly has a certain history about race. Chicago politics is all about race. It's all if you ain't about sneezing, that ain't season. True. That's what it is. If you ain't sneeze, you didn't season that bitch right. Politicians based on their tribal identity. One egg. Rahm Emanuel was mayor then, and he covered up the Laquan McDonald shooting. Kid was shot 16 times by the police, and there was a video. Mr. Emanuel kept it on the wraps so he could get elected. This current state's attorney's executive leadership has been an unequivocal failure. Kim Fox seized upon all this and rode to victory. This night belongs to Kim Fox, who becomes the first African-American Cook County state's attorney. How would I frame uh, life in Chicago in 2019? Where, where were we? Even though Trump was president, right, I don't think the Chicagoans are happy about that. This was the scene tonight at the University of Illinois at Chicago Pavilion. It was supposed to have been a rally for Donald Trump. During the election, he wasn't able to give his stump speech at the UIC Pavilion. Protesters had prevented it. And it was a continuation of Chicago protests because it was Chicago activists that brought the Laquan McDonald case to the forefront. And so activism was, was rolling in that winter. I didn't know about that. It's good detail. I would still contest and say, hey, these things still happened before and technically after. I just wish there was more better ways to get the word out. Not saying you can't protest and try to bring a message to the leader of the country. I'm saying I need more ways that actually get people's attention in a positive way instead of just saying, look at these dumbasses protesting. A friend of mine had sent me a screenshot of the front Make page sure you mix of, I believe, a TMZ article with the that egg, showed that Jesse with the had been attacked. Into the I went to my brother, ran to him, and was like, yo, <laughs> mission accomplished. <laughs> we did it. So, so we were like, good job. Uh, now we've secured uh, the payment of our $500 chicken. She that he owes us because like he this. only wrote us Making sure that you got what you need to have it. And that was the day we were supposed to leave for Nigeria. Our trip to Nigeria was planned months in advance to go audition for a show called Big Brother Niger, which is a big show in Nigeria. Motherfuckers want to be on, on Big Brother in Nigeria. No fucking good. way. I do my newscast that night, and I go home, and I call the, one of the public information officers. Season so flower! At 1045 do at not night, listen to America. Season your flower. Name. Let's just call him Steve. And I said, hey, Steve, so what's the deal with this Jesse Smollett story? And Steve goes, oh, my God, it's a bunch of bullshit. It never happened. And I said, well, can I quote you on that on the record? And he's like, no, 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 no. He goes, wait, 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 just wait, 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 wait. So, okay, I'm only 11 minutes in. But this don't make cops look good. Like, none of this make a cop look good. Not a cop, a journalist. Because y'all talking amongst each other, and y'all smell the bullshit. And y'all don't want to say nothing because it's a racial issue. Or y'all chicken shit. So all around, this don't make, honestly, this don't make journalists look good. Chicago police are taking this very seriously, but that we're skeptical. Now, if you've ever covered any sort of police department, you know that a public information officer will never give you anything demonstrative. Every statement is police are investigating. We have no information at this time. As we get more information, we will give it to you. True. They'll never give you anything with True. any color to it. 
The fact that a public information officer went on the record and said, we're not buying it, made my jaw hit the floor. Cops, especially those who spend any time as a detective investigating <laughs> crimes, uh, Woo! pretty yeah. reliable pass-fail test, smell Take test, me. we'll call Bless it. Bless me. Uh, this one did not pass. All right. I want to keep watching, but I got to go rinse this off because, uh, hold on, let me show you. It's a little dirty, all my seasonings and marinade in there. Hold on. I'll be back. Holy shit, more money! Hey, welcome back to the slave ship. I'm back! Who did something? I saw the notification. I saw somebody do something. Who did it? Now, the back to this. Now I can actually not like even, watch Not somebody. even a scintilla. Well, the I, possibility I of two individuals walking <clears throat> around one of the most affluent areas of the city of Chicago at 2 o'clock in the morning wearing MAGA hats is, again, something that just defies all credibility. Leon, that was literally the cue from the cue. Well, first of all, it's an apartment, not a house. We're not there yet. You mean some people don't season their flour? No. Imagine using flour for chicken. You know what? 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 Y'all hating. Y'all hating. Y'all hating. Y'all hating. Stop hating. Stop hating. What I'm cooking? I'm cooking chicken. Regular fried ass chicken. I thought I, I thought I was gonna do lemon pepper. I thought I was gonna sit back and do lemon pepper. But I ain't, but I ain't, but I ain't. What seasonings I'm using? Creole seasoning, black pepper, old bay, garlic powder, paprika, egg, hot sauce, mustard. I know a few of those aren't seasonings. Some of those are sauces. Lemon pepper wings do sound amazing. All right. Might do that next time. Better use pink sauce. Look, I hate y'all. I do one thing with pink sauce, and y'all seem to not forget it. Fuck y'all. After I got off the phone, I tweeted out, Chicago police are taking Jesse Smollett's claim seriously, but they are skeptical. I went to Twitter. Seasoned I was shocked flour. how many news outlets went with this as truth. A lot of newspapers went with the headline, Jesse Smollett attacked in racially motivated incident. That's it's not true. a true statement. Yes, they did. The true statement in the headline. Wouldn't it be some wicked shit if I was part of this documentary? Like somehow, <clears throat> Tucker Carlson saw my videos and he was like, you know what? Put that dumbass nigga in the videos. Put him in the documentary. That you should have gone with is Jesse Smollett says he was attacked in a racially motivated incident. And I was equally shocked by how many people then retweeted these articles as truth. Nancy Pelosi, Kamala Harris, I wasn't Joe shocked Biden. by it. These racially Fuck. motivated incidents. People that are not there are seeing something on Twitter, they're going to retweet to them anything. on Twitter and said, you may want to find out if this is true or not before you comment on it. Because anybody who knows the city of Chicago knew this story was made up. And you were going to look bad. I didn't look bad. <laughs> I ain't make no tweet. I just made a video saying his story sound like shit. <laughs> I didn't look bad. I woke up the next morning and my tweet was filled with hate speech and of course personal attacks black lives matter activists ray mckisson people going after me personally i didn't say 
that I didn't believe Jesse Smollett's story. I didn't, but I didn't say that. I said Chicago police didn't believe Jesse Smollett's story. Everything I reported, I attributed to the Chicago Police Department. Therefore, it was factually true. They did, in fact, say that. Four yeah, miles from I get the a attack. call from some detectives who I knew who I'd worked with previously, and they wanted to know if they could come by and see me. So the this hotel. is the good shit I've missed out on. Not catching it. Yes, everybody, follow me on Twitch. And try I don't care that you don't like Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. I game. I I'm reacting to a documentary. I'm my life cooking chicken in a bowl in my I room culminated my career where I record videos. After that, I was director of security at the Hyatt Hotel. I got Hotel all this Chicago. stuff over here. Hold so on, this is not a gimmick. Said, Look at all that shit. Do you have any cameras on the outside? To make chicken. And sure enough, Welcome to there the plantation. it was. Appreciate the follow. There's one cab at a cab station. Hold up. There we go. He's sitting on the east side of the street, and we see two men come along, and they jump into this cab. The cab drives off. Fortunately, there was a good angle. The video clearly displayed the cab's registration number, and the rest is history. When they brought that footage back in and pieced it together, and then I went down there and saw it, I'm like, uh-oh, this something ain't right with this here. When you've been a cop for so long, you, you get certain instincts about certain things. So I, I remember the detective that put that footage together. We were all both thinking, that don't look like two white guys walking down the street. Sometimes they, they just have different gates, and that's what we saw on this video. They were walking like black guys from the neighborhood. They, they really were. And you, you know, you have to spend a lot of time getting instinct for that kind of thing. I remember telling the chief of detectives, those are two black guys. Those are two black guys. You know, Eddie Johnson said he could tell the footage that you guys were black, right? Really? I, I feel like he's just, I feel like he's just saying that. Hindsight is 20, yeah, 20, yeah, 20. Cap. Come on. I call Cap on that. I call <laughs> oh, Cap man. on that. Bro, I saw that footage, and I'm like, that's two niggas. Like, I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh, those are obviously two white guys. If you watching fucking camera footage, you'll see it's two niggas. Y'all wasn't wearing, you not wearing nothing now that a white person would wear. I ain't never seen no white person wear a black shirt with white leaves on it. None. I've seen a white man wear a white shirt, brown khaki shorts, and a pink scarf on a golf course. I ain't never seen a white man wear shit like this. You out you you are wearing the attire that you know you're comfortable in. We was in character the whole time. So you think you guys are believable white supremacists? One hundred percent. Look at Okay, me. first of all, <laughs> Images released from Chicago police don't show much detail, but they're the latest in the alleged hate crime against Empire star Jesse Smollett. So the first photo that we put out, we actually had a better photo. So now, in full disclosure, I can say this. What do you mean full? You should have, what the fu Okay, full disclosure my ass, you are an ass. Because if you had the information that was clearer, you should have fucking produced. See, while we all know Jesse's a piece of shit, this does not make any of these people look good so far. The, reason the journalists, the cops, none of y'all look because good. Because it did have a red MAGA hat, red baseball cap. I can't remember if it said MAGA or not. But I didn't want people to focus on that because it would, would cause more angst. So now that next day when everybody finds out about it, do you think we would have had some issues in the city? Yeah, we would have, because black people, minority folks, and the gay community would have been outraged. And you know, sometimes once that toothpaste uh. gets out the tube, you can't put it back in there. They were worried that if this thing became, a, if this was a racial attack, white people attacking Jesse Smollett, there could be rep, uh, social and political repercussions, and violence people while while that could be true it could it could absolutely be true you could have a situation where white dudes absolutely beat the living piss out of a black person and it causes a lot of people to be upset that is absolutely true also you could still do your job because there was still racial tension around because you had a dude saying hey i got jumped by MAGA hat wearers. And at the time, 
anyone who said, oh, that person over there is a MAGA supporter, before anybody would turn around and look, they would think 10 times out of 10, it's a white person. So you're still going to have that racial detail added to it, my boy. We're literally and seriously concerned about that at the time. In a town where we had the 1919 race riots, where a child was beaten to death and killed on the beach at 31st Street because he was black. This is Chicago. This is Chicago race relations. 1960s, Dr. King is here <laughs> leading the civil rights movement. There's fell. an iconic photo of him kneeled over after being hit in the head with a rock. I almost fell and ruined my By a mob of white people who were violently so protesting his plan to come here and integrate housing in Chicago. Oh, I've been hit so many times, I'm immune to it. <laughs> So, of course, I had no reason to disbelieve Jesse when he says that he's walking in a white neighborhood in Chicago and it's a Hold on, when he said he was walking in a white neighborhood? I don't remember that part. I think you just added a detail. I don't, now, could be true. He might have been in a white neighborhood. I don't think it was ever stated what neighborhood he was in. About racist and Trump supports. Of course, I believe him. We all know why we're out here. Jussie Smollett was attacked in a racist, homophobic attack by members of the MAGA movement, and we are done with it. We want to make it clear. We know, but we want everybody to know that this is a racist, brutal, That's right. anti-black, and it was fake. attack, and it was fake. Violence. And it was Those fake. MAGA hacks. Oh, I hate the way we're about to die. I hate this dude. I hate this dude. I hate this dude. Dude, I hate this dude. I hate this dude. I got personal beef with this dude because he says shit that does not make black people look good, especially in his own group. And then when he's caught on it, this motherfucker will say, "Well, I didn't really do anything like that. I, you're the one that's the problem. You're the you're that." It's the reason why I said I need more people that will actually create change and not people who will embarrass their own movements. Say. Make America Fuck. great. Embody what terrorism is in current day America. I got the call from one of the PIOs saying, you're not going to believe this. I just watched the uh, surveillance video. I saw Smollett carrying a Subway sandwich after the supposed attack. He still had the rope around his neck. And I'm like, really? He was still carrying a sandwich? That must have been one fucking great Bro, sandwich. the sandwich was the best and I'm part. Like, Can I tweet that? And he's like, yeah, go ahead. I said, can I use your name? He's like, no, 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 I'll just say anonymous source. There were three TV journalists that the Chicago Police Department relied on to get the information out there. It was me, Charlie DeMar at CBS2, and Rob Algus at ABC7. I was a little shocked how much information CPD was leaking out about this case. They've never done that with any other case that I've ever covered with them. We joke about it. You know, I'd get the call, hey, this, uh, this happened. I'd be like, hey, have you called Algus yet? No, 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 somebody else is calling Algus. I'm like, okay. I didn't really know why, other than a lot of folks in the media were reporting this as truth, so perhaps CPD wanted to combat that narrative. There's a very tight-knit community here, the Chicago establishment, the cops, the lawyers, the state's attorneys, the judges, the defense attorneys. People and talk, they all work together and to hurt people blacks. talk about something that's very obvious, people are going to come to conclusions. The Troubadour concert. So in addition to me being a television executive and researcher, I also DJ. One of the promoters that I work with booked Jesse Smollett at the Troubadour before this happened. I was already set to DJ this show. This was not like this thing happened and then promoter booked him and put him at the Troubadour. This was already supposed to happen. When this happens, the ticket sales, poof, exploded. The promoter hits me up and says, hey, um, we're not gonna have you DJ because he wants to use his own DJ, but this thing is like oversold. So I just need you to just come and just lend a hand. So I was like, okay, yeah, cool, I can do that, no problem. I've done a ton of shows at the Troubadour. I have Time never, to make the before a show, been sitting in that bar area, looked out the window and seen that many people. 
ever. There was a little bit of like, man, I hope nothing happens out here. Because I know a lot of no. right wing people were like, get rid of F my Jesse. You know, I, it was like a lot of that sort of ne those kind of negative comments. So hold on, let me get rid of my flowers. Welcome to the plantation. Pink Tingle. I say Pink Tingle. Phoenix Tingle. I appreciate the follow. Comments floating around in the atmosphere. Here, here he is doing a show at a very public place, middle of Los Angeles. I hear the chicken cooking in some a dude's kitchen. Hey, 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 hey. And I was like, man, I, I got an open window happens. right here. So, of course, you got to hear that. So Jesse takes a stage. Soul, I appreciate the sub. And this is well, with the prime. Like he's doing his thing. Do Estrada, I appreciate the follow. But during the middle of the show, and this is when I found, this is when I oh, this my favorite my part. instincts. This is when I came to the realization this that my this favorite is not part. real. He goes say I was bruised, but my ribs were not cracked. They were not broken. <laughs> I went to the doctor immediately. Frank Gatson drove me. I was not hospitalized. Hold on, 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 hold on. What you got a damn window open for? Because of the smoke, you dumbass. You want you want smoke everywhere when you making food? Of course you open a fuck. What is wrong? See, I know you can't cook. I know you can't cook. I know you can't cook. You'll burn your house down. I know you can't cook. My heart is in there. I'm like, this is what's up. Wow, we're getting we're getting it straight from the horse's mouth. And above all, I fought the fuck back. The sad part is he didn't fight back. He then says, I'm the gay Tupac. <laughs> no, sir. Welcome to the plantation. And the crowd just goes crazy. They wanted to believe it. Arya, thank you for the follow. But in my mind, when he says that, it was a letdown. I knew it was false. I knew it was completely false. I knew that that didn't happen the minute he said that. And the reason why I knew that is because Anyone who's been through that kind of trauma in that sort of situation would never describe it in those terms. And, I and, I will point out, and, they would not call themselves gay Tupac. They would not call themselves that. Who do you know get their ass beat and start saying, I'm the gay Tupac. I'm the gay Martin Luther King. I'm the gay Mel. No. I know people who have robbed people. I have never, ever, ever heard them describe that experience in any way close to that. Never, never in my life. And that's when I knew. I said, if that really happened to you, you would never describe it in that way, ever, ever. There's no sort of heroics about that. There's no puffing your chest up about that sort of thing. No when problem, I you're awesome. Well, thank you. Chicago, Welcome to my plantation. We make it. To go there to cover the Jesse story. We're about like a week and a half after the crime actually happened. So the story's already been international news. So I was like, let me just go check out the scene of the crime. Chicago's a notoriously clean city. In New York City, it's there's trash all the time, everywhere. So that's not really saying much if you see trash on the ground, you know, X amount of days after an event happened. But in Chicago, it is saying something. 
I'm looking around, and then I notice a hot sauce bottle. It was an unusual piece of trash, and as a New Yorker, I know trash very well. So I pick it up, and I kind of smell it, and it had this like kind of soapy smell. And I was like, this is all just like super weird. At the time that I found this um, piece of evidence, clean. all Tough. I knew is that Jesse had a chemical agent poured on him. And that- All right, I'm tired of here. I'm tired of car engines being like the main thing y'all hear. Hold on. Welcome to the plantation. Bro, that's not a car engine, that's a whole big rig. Big rig car, what the hell? Hi, My chicken ready. <laughs> my chicken ready. Y'all wanna see my chicken? Because for some reason, people seem to think I don't cook. People seem to think I can't cook. My chicken brings the truckers to the, you know what? Yeah, you are right. My chicken does bring out the truckers. Yes, sir. Okay, let me pray. Bet is good. You ain't got a bet. I know it's good. Ha I can smell that noise. Absolutely, of course you can smell that noise. Look at that, look at that. Hey! Hold up, a little bit of sunlight in it too. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> yes, sir, y'all saw y'all saw. Now, I'm gonna let that cool. Come on, man. 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 Come on. Get focused. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Better than Popeye. You know it. Oh, you know it.
Somebody said different sauce. I ain't think about it at first, but now I need some. So I went got some barbecue sauce. Man, I can smell it through the screen. Yes, sir. Oh, the pink sauce. Oh, pink sauce looking at. Shut up. That looks beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. Some, matter of fact, where the fuck she at? Where the fuck her bitch ass at? Y'all know who I'm about to call? Y'all know Star Sand, right? Gothic's friend? I'm calling that I'm calling that motherfucker. I'm calling that motherfucker. I'm putting it on speaker too. Pick up the phone. Need some high high barbecue sauce? All I got is the honey. Typical white people. When they know a black man doing good, they know where to be found. Come on, man. Get you one last look before I bite on that. Get you a good look before I bite on that. If they don't pick up the phone, it's a hate crime. Yeah! Absolutely, yeah! It's absolutely a hate crime. They don't pick up the phone. All right. Y'all know what it's time for. Time to eat. God, it's hot. Even with this glove on. I'm getting jerk chicken tonight. See, if I had, like, a setup to where I could be in here and then I could press a button and I could be in my kitchen, I would make some orange chicken, but I don't have that setup. Can't believe they missed the phone call from the second but Exactly. I'm about to steal that chicken. I value your chicken more than my life. Well, you know what happens when you try to steal from me. So, y'all ready? Gotta eat. Oh, la. Oh, yeah. The crunch is true ASMR. You heard that crunch? I'm weak. Why wouldn't you? The mic right there. That chewing is satisfied. All right. All right. Now, now y'all making it weird. All right. Now, hold on. Now I got to be like gothics and mute my mic. Y'all talking about, oh, the crunch is, the, the crunch is satisfied. Man. Ain't nobody want to hear that. Get out my ear smacking like that. Shut up. Leon becomes a mime. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Leon, we can't hear you. Stop speaking number nine large. Yo, really? Damn. And I don't even know what a number nine large is. I feel like I know the meme. I feel like I know it's from Grand Theft Auto. I feel like I know it's from Grand Theft Auto. Damn, when I'm hungry, I still have another three hours of my 12-hour shift. Well, you have a couple options. You could go get you something to eat after or go to a little vending machine if you have one at work. Because if you work in a 12-hour shift, you I don't, I'm not going to assume where you work. What flavor wings? They just regular fried chicken wings. I ain't I ain't put nothing on them. I ain't do nothing extra. I just made regular fried chicken wings. He guessed them one. All right. Now that y'all seen the chicken, y'all saw me taste my chicken, so y'all know I don't just make something and then throw it to the side. I'm currently eating home running pizza. Now it's time to get back to the documentary. You know what I'm saying? It's time to get back. Because we ain't done. First episode of it, we ain't the done. The vessel that the agent came from had never been recovered. That's all we knew at that point. They had his clothes, but they never found the bottle where the bleach was poured on him. At the time, you know, there's a manhunt all over the city. The Chicago Police Department has deployed 
all of their resources. They have thrown everything in the kitchen sink at this story because it's making international waves. So then I had the fun task of calling up the Chicago Police Department's Detective Bureau and saying, hi, um, I'm a journalist here covering the scene. And I think I found something that's a little bit strange and you guys might want to come take a look at it. And the sergeant comes and they end up putting some little crime scene tape and putting a little marker on it, taking some pictures, like doing the whole CSI thing with the hot sauce bottle, which was really funny. My Yo, newsroom was a little bit you? concerned that there might be more to this story. So I went door to door on Jesse's neighbors, spoke to people coming in and out, and people doubted it. You know, that's like, nobody was really saying that publicly, Bro, but- of I, I'm, This is like the fourth time I heard people say, oh, well, they doubt it, but they don't want to say it publicly. This is the chicken shit that I was talking about. And I understand why. Part of me gets why, because you had people seeing people say they don't believe or they don't support a black person doing something because either it was ethically not something that you could get behind or it was something dumb and you had all these idiots saying racist, racist, racist. I'm just like, fuck, get a backbone, you sad fucks. Behind closed doors, everyone was wondering how the hell does something like this happen in Chicago? Not me. To the plantation. I appreciate that. At this three point, times. they still don't have a person of interest. And while Chicago is practically bathed in surveillance cameras, Jesse had picked the one spot in town Holy to get attacked shit, that didn't have a camera buddy. on it. Naked, I appreciate that. At the, the time, sub. I couldn't tell if it was people My who guy. were just very proud of their city and who would be like, no way something like this could no, happen. No, Sharky, in my city. I appreciate like, the gift of Chicago, sub. In, which bad. is like very Chicago. It started to occur to me that there might be something more to this. I mean, people who live in this neighborhood know who frequent these neighborhoods, and they didn't think it was possible. And then at the same time, I'm working the Chicago Police Department as well for any updates in the case. I'm pumping them, pumping them. You know, I demand an interview. I was like, we're the New York Post. I'm like, we're a national newspaper. We circulate right here in Chicago. So talk to me about this case. And I started to kind of get that hint that not everything was adding up with them. And you start to get the vibe that he's not really helping this investigation. And then, of course, the question is, why wouldn't you be helping the investigation? You've been the victim of a horrifying crime. I do remember he fucking didn't want to turn in his fucking phone. And everybody was like, well, fuck, it would help if you would. You know, as journalists, we are often called to report on uncomfortable truths. And it is a difficult part of the job. And then you also, um, it's a scary time to be gay. You know, I'm a gay woman. Looking at Jesse's story. Excuse me. You're actually a lesbian birthing person. And you should not be discriminating amongst the trans community. And seeing how he was the victim of a hate crime. And you know, that, that's a fear that you have. Anytime I walk, hand, you know, I, I walk down the street holding hands with my wife, I have to worry about being the victim of a hate crime. And to see that he was a victim of this supposed crime, and then to how's start the to see it's that there's some doubt delicious. about it, it's uncomfortable. Am I saying that a black and gay man lied about being the victim of a hate crime? Because that is a really, really serious thing to say. Um, and I really didn't want to be the person to say that. But once I had the evidence that I did, the public had a, a right to know what was going on with this case. Initially, the groundswell was pro Smollett. There was a rallying cry. People wanted it to be true. Everybody was nervous about going against that story initially on. Of course they were. There's nothing more biddable or malleable than a white liberal journalist who's dealing with racial issues. They are terrified of anyone possibly calling them a racist. And so they'll create a hero. It's scary out of to be a, a gay woman. Excuse like me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hold on. I'm tired of this PD, white supremacist speaking. That's when the public hey, opinion hey, changed. Hey, white supremacist, PD stop talking. I'm a black victim. Excuse me. It is not. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. It is not a gay woman. It is a lesbian woman. It's not even a woman. It's a birthing person. Someone who breeds milk. Stop being discriminatory. <laughs>
to the to the trans community. I couldn't keep it up. I'm sorry, I couldn't keep it up. Oh, I don't know if Peachy's still here, but as I'm biting through my chicken, here it is, and yes, it's good. Do that. It was very smart of them to do that. Those leaks helped us. Let's be real. They served our agenda, but our agenda was we work in media. We want more viewers. We want more readers. The more people that watch us, the more job security we have. When did you know for sure this wasn't? I think maybe by that third day is when the detectives had the evidence and linked it to the Osendaro brothers. Now I want chicken. I got black people coming together. The detectives did an awesome job of collecting that video and tracking it back. By that time, we knew it was a hoax because we know the Olsen Daryl brothers are the ones that perpetrated it. So we had it dead to rights. You know, we just needed them to tell us what actually happened. <laughs> They're out of the country, so I didn't want anybody knowing about that. We also knew when they were coming back which wasn't that, that, that big of a time frame. But my fear was this, because we knew they were out of the country, I didn't want them getting wind of it and not come back to Chicago. So you guys are on a plane back to the country, it is over here. What are you expecting? Flying back from Nigeria, we were expecting our other $500 check. We need our cheese. We need the rest of our money. I felt like I was just gonna get back to business. Head back, start doing auditions, continue working out and living my great life. I got a question. I had a whole different feeling. I felt like I got a question for that for, I got a question for uh where's this woman? Where's this woman? Where's this woman? I had a question for this woman. When you see men that look like this, do you believe that a gay dude could possibly lie? Our money. I felt like I was just gonna get back to business. Head back, start doing auditions, continue working. I'm seeing all the white right here. Oh, I, I see the white. It's the fucking light gleaming off they fucking boobs. Out and living my great life. I had a whole different feeling. I felt like <laughs> the police was waiting for me. That's what I felt like. They're releasing all these little bits of evidence, but they knew it was us. I was like, they're just waiting for us to come back. And lo and behold, when I was getting off the plane, the customs agent was checking everyone's passport. And when they got to me, they pulled me aside. Two big ass police officers came up. I went with them, I was like, damn, it's over with. They got me. It was like a movie itself. It was like a movie. And that, children, is the, the Chicago first Police blood. Department confirming they've been talking with two people of interest in the case for hours. The reason why the men were there is now central to the investigation. I don't believe it's my boys. I don't know what's going on, but I know it's not them. Just because they were black doesn't mean that they weren't the perpetrators here. This was just some Hollywood shit. It's MAGA country. Yeah, you. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> ah, it's mad. Wait, I gotta hear. I gotta hear him do that Hollywood again. Shit. It's MAGA country. Okay, now I see why y'all not really good actors. Yeah, you. Yeah, you heard me. And I'm just in my head like, what the f? The start of Jesse's own demise was his interview with Robin Roberts. That's when I told Gloria, like, yeah, I'm ready to talk to the police and tell them exactly everything that happened. I'm pissed off. The what? fear mongrels! Is it that has you so angry? What happened that night, Jesse? It's the fear mongrels. It is absolutely 100% the fear mongrels. It's MAGA. It's MAGA time. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wait, 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 wait. His voice don't line up with what he said. I need that again. But I know it's not. I need that again. His voice did not match up with what he said. Perpetrators here. This was just some Hollywood shit. It's MAGA country. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Like what? Them two voices don't link. This was just some Hollywood. 
All right, y'all hear how deep his voice sound? It's just some Hollywood shit. Shit. It's MAGA country. Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, you. No. I see why. I, I see completely. He's trying to do a country accent. He's trying to do a country accent in Chicago. He's trying to do like a hillbilly Arkansas slash Alabama mindset. Bro went from main villain to the boondocks in two seconds. Exactly. This motherfucker was like, no, yeah, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can. Yeah, bro. It's, it's just some Hollywood shit. And then he, Fox knew what they was doing with that. They knew they fucked that. It's just some Hollywood shit. This is MAGA country. Yeah, you. Like, no. Fuck you. And fuck Smuggle Nuts, too. Well, don't fuck them. Uh, I don't.